This is in 2020 tonight. We're now just three weeks away from Election Day. More than 300,000 Oklahoma voters, a new record, have requested absentee ballots so far. And state election officials tell us with all these ballots going out, it's important for voters to follow the submission process to a T. New at 6, Mason Morrow hears from one voter who is concerned that ballots could be cast aside because of a stamp. County election boards across Oklahoma are counting absentee ballots already mailed in, separating the clean ballots and the questionable ones. Well, that's counting on a voter's ballot to get there in the first place. There's lots of ways to mess up. Let's not make another one. Jim Yates plans to vote at his polling place on November 3rd, but his wife, Martha, can't. Her multiple sclerosis will keep her home on Election Day. She casts her vote via excused absentee. I want my wife's vote to count. And I bet this is happening to a lot of people. Yates tells Two Works For You he hand-delivered Martha's mail-in ballot to the post office, just like he did in August for the runoff primary election, including name, address, and one forever stamp. And they said, no, this won't get delivered. I was just... I couldn't believe it. According to the U.S. Postal Service's website, postage for a standard envelope starts at 55 cents. An oversized one is 70 cents. In an email statement from USPS to Two Works For You, a spokesperson says the Postal Service requires election officials to tell voters how much postage is required. My gosh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. No, Nobody knew that. None of my friends knew that. Oklahoma State Election Board officials tell Two Works For You, quote, postage is required and, quote, is clearly marked on the green return ballot. They say however many stamps are on a voter's ballot envelope when they receive it is how many they should post to return. Tulsa County Election Board officials suggest using two stamps, quote, just to be safe. I think there's a real possibility that some of these won't get counted. But Yates still worries. While he and his wife's August absentee ballots were counted on the OK Voter portal, he fears this potential misinformation may cost others. At least there is somebody at the post office, the clerk who helped me, she wouldn't deliver it. She would say, oh no, this is not deliverable. The USPS spokesperson addresses this in their statement to me, saying, quote, if a return ballot is entered into the mail stream with insufficient postage, it is the Postal Service's policy not to delay the delivery of the mail-in ballots. They go on to say if this happens, the Postal Service will deliver the ballot and thereafter attempt to collect postage from the appropriate Board of Elections. Reporting in Tulsa, Mason Morrow, two works for you. Thank you, Mason. We're here for all of your election questions. We've set up a hotline for you to get those questions answered. Call the number on your screen to reach our Decision 2020 Problem Solvers hotline. You can also send an email to problemsolvers at kjrh.com.